Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a rational equation. We have in the numerator x squared minus x plus 1 quantity squared. And in the denominator, we have the square of x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus 1. And that is equal to 9 over 5. So we have a quartic expression or polynomial in the numerator. And we have a, another quartic in the denominator. So it's going to end up being a quartic at the end. I think. So let's go ahead and do the following. This is probably something that you would not use, but I just want to show you as maybe the first method, how you can do this in a brute forcey way. So I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply first, 5 times x squared minus x plus 1 squared. By the way, this is from a math competition. I don't remember which one, but uh, I think it's from Russia. Anyways, so let's go ahead and cross multiply first. And then we're going to expand, expand, and expand. So this is going to give us, if you square a plus p plus c, x to the fourth, x squared plus 1. And then I'm going to do negative 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x. And then let's go ahead and simplify this. And I'm going to take care of the right-hand side later, okay? I can go ahead and add any like terms here, like 5 times x to the fourth minus 2x cubed. These two is going to give me plus 3x squared minus 2x. This is already taken care of. Minus 2x plus 1. Okay. And then when I distribute, I'm going to get 5x to the fourth minus 10x cubed plus 15x squared minus 10x plus 5. That's the left-hand side. So let's call that LHS. And then let's go ahead and take care of the right-hand side. If you go ahead and distribute first this x, uh, let's put the x squared plus 1 first, and then expand the perfect square, and then we're going to go ahead and distribute x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus x squared plus x squared minus 2x plus 1. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. And then here we're going to get x to the fourth, and then I have negative 2x cubed plus 2x squared, these two and then minus 2x plus 1. And if I go ahead and expand it, 9x to the fourth minus 18x cubed plus 18x squared minus 18x plus 9. And this is supposed to equal that, so let's go ahead and put it together. And we could probably write this on the right-hand side, 5x to the fourth minus 10x cubed plus 15x squared minus 10x plus 5. And let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. 4x to the 4th, these two are going to be combined. Negative 18 plus 10 is going to be negative 8x cubed, these two. And then 18x squared minus 15x squared is going to be positive 3x squared. And then negative 18 plus 10 is going to be negative 8x. And finally, 9 minus 5 is going to be positive 4. And yay, this is a great equation, right? Good luck solving that. This is a quartic equation. There's a formula which is not going to fit anywhere. But you can turn this into a cubic by getting rid of the x cubed, so on and so forth. But that's a very long story. So there must be an easier way, and let's call that the second method. You see, we didn't even call the first method. First method is just, uh, I don't know, brute force. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let me rewrite the original problem x squared minus x plus 1 squared divided by x minus 1 squared times x squared plus 1 equals 9 over 5. So instead of doing this, we're going to handle the problem differently. Of course, we're going to cross multiply again. So let's go ahead and do it. 9 times x minus 1 squared. And I'd like to expand it, but not distribute it, of course. And it's going to equal that. Again, don't distribute the... Uh, trinomial square. So here's what we're going to do, and that actually works, this method works, because you'll see in a little bit, we have the x squared plus 1, x squared plus 1, and x squared plus 1. Notice that this repeats itself, right? I'm not, I'm not saying we're going to call x squared plus 1 something, because that's not going to work, because we also have an x term here and here. But we're going to do a interesting transformation, which is uh, often used with Olympiad problems like this one. And that is dividing both sides by x squared. And you'll see in a little bit why I divide both sides by x squared. Sometimes you have to divide by x cubed or any other power. But instead of dividing this, you know, humongous thing, 
we're going to split up the x squared. x for this and x for that, okay? So we're going to do it like this. 9 times x squared minus 2x plus 1, divide that by x, and then x squared plus 1, divide that by x, and 5, and I have this, but how am I going to handle it? Well, you can just kind of write it, divide by x inside, and then square the whole quotient. That way, you'll be dividing by x squared. Make sense? A lot of manipulations, a lot of tricks, but that's how it's done in an easier way. Now, notice what we're going to end up getting. This is going to give us 9 times. Now, I'm going to go ahead and split this up because, you know, when you have uh, a polynomial divided by a monomial, you can actually write it as a sum of uh, something, right? So you can split up the terms. x squared divided by x is x. So I'm going to write it like x minus 2 plus 1 over x. This is where the magic begins. Multiplied by x plus 1 over x. Yay. This is very mathematical, don't you think? And you don't have to use the multiplication symbol all the time. If you just put the parentheses together, that's what multiplication means. And then here, we have to split inside the parentheses x minus 1 plus 1 over x squared. Hopefully, you see what I see. Do you see what I see? Well, now we can use our magical substitution. x plus 1 over x. And if you haven't seen it, come on, this one. This tells you, hey, you have to replace me with something. So let's go ahead and do the following. How about x plus 1 over x set it equal to y? Okay, don't question why. Then this gives us the following. 9 times y, and notice that this is minus 2, times y equals 5 times this plus this is y, y minus 1 squared. And yay, this is quadratic. Isn't that awesome? Let's distribute. 9y squared minus 18y equals 5y squared minus 10y. Come on, you can do this not too hard. Plus 5. You see, from a crazy quartic equation, we ended up with a quadratic. But we had to change variables. So change of variables is a very powerful, efficient technique. If applicable, always use it. 4y squared minus, and you'll probably recognize some of these coefficients from before, minus 8y, and then minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, subtract this, subtract that, and subtract that. Make sense? So how do you solve this equation? Easy. With the quadratic formula, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 64, minus 4ac, what is minus 4 times, uh, 4 times negative 5? That's a positive. Don't forget that. It's not i. Uh, 16 times 5 is 80, so this is going to be 80. And 1... 144 is a perfect square. Yay, awesome, right? Well, we're supposed to get nice answers, come on. Square root of 144 is 12, so let's go ahead and write it like this. y sub 1 is 8 plus 12 over 8, and y sub 2 is 8 minus 12 over 8. I wanted to split it up so I can find rational answers. This is 20 divided by 8, which is 5 halves. Notice I just simplified it. This is negative 4 over 8, which is negative 1 half. So we got two results for y because we solved a quadratic equation. Nobody asked why, but I wanted to answer it. Now, what is y? y is x plus 1 over x. Awesome. Let's go ahead and split, um, I mean not split, set these equal to x plus 1 over x. So if x plus 1 over x is 5 halves, I'm pretty sure you're going to find it very easily from here. x is either 2 or 1 half. Why? Because 2 plus 1 half is 5 halves, and for the same reason, uh, 1 half plus 2 is 5 halves. So we got two solutions, and yay, they're cool. But the second piece, if you know a little bit of calculus or, I don't know, uh, maxima minima, you'll realize this can't be happening, right? Because the minimum value for x plus 1 over x is 2. But what if x is negative? It could happen, right? Who knows? Let's give it a try. So let's multiply everything by 2. Uh, that's going to give us 2x plus 2 over x equals negative 1. Let's multiply everything by x. 2x squared plus 2 equals negative x. 2x squared plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. From here, x equals negative b. Negative b. Plus minus the square root of b squared. 1 minus 4, 8 times 16. Uh-oh. The results are not good. Unfortunately, we don't have real solutions. So these solutions are just going to be complex. But that's okay. 
we got two complex solutions and two real solutions for x in our original problem. And, and this brings us to the graph, not to the end of this video yet. So bear with me for another maybe 30 seconds. So this is the graph of our function and notice that y equals 9 fifths is being intersected at two points because there are two real solutions. Remember, two and one half are those. We talked about it, right? The others are complex, and this is a really interesting graph, by the way. This is a rational equation. It has some asymptotes, so on and so forth. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care, and bye-bye.